Hello YouTube. Today I was talking to my nephew about canning and I was really shocked. He turned 20 this month. I was talking about canning and he didn't even know what I was talking about. It seems canning and preserving food is becoming a lost art among our young people today. So I decided I would make this video talking about what is canning and why we can just to maybe help someone have a better understanding of really how simple and easy canning is. Home canning puts the pleasure of eating natural delicious produce at your fingertips year round. Preserving food in mason jars might sound old fashioned, but it is as modern and practical as the latest health food trend or gourmet creation. And it's really quite simple. Home canners enjoy the rewards of numerous homemade meals and snacks created from just one preserving session. When you preserve food at home, you create products that save you time in the day-to-day -day food preparation. A real blessing given today's hectic lifestyles. Individual home preserved jars can be opened and served as is or used to simplify on-the-spot meals and snack preparation. You know, like baking, preserving food is a simple step beyond recipe preparation. For home canning, this process is called the heat processing. It is neither difficult nor time consuming. In fact, the most popular home preserved foods require less time than baking a cake or casserole. Unlike baking, the results of home canning sessions do not require space in your refrigerators or freezers. Properly home canned foods can be stored in your cupboard or pantry for up to a year. We actually have eaten food that's been canned for a longer period of time. Uh, I've seen people on YouTube eat bacon that was canned for six or seven years. I can't advise that. I can only advise you to do what the directions say that are put out by our USDA. During the heat processing time, when our food is put into mason jars and the food is filled and they're fitted with a two-piece metal closure, what we call a lid and a ring, they're then heated and this heating process destroys harmful microorganisms that cause food spoilage and cre creates an airtight seal that prevents contamination during the storage process. They have really, you know, came up with some good, good things and they've used science to be able to tell how long the food needs to be processed by the acidity of the food. I hope I've enlightened you a little bit about canning. Um, like it said, it's really not that time consuming. It's rewarding. And it does what time it takes you now to put it up. It saves you so many times in advance when you're trying to prepare a meal. When all you're doing is opening a jar and taking 10 or 15 minutes to heat it up. I hope you enjoyed our video. If I can help you out in any way, let me know. Please give us a thumbs up for our effort for making the video. If you would, also join our channel. We'll be putting out other videos about canning and preserving and garden planting and that type of stuff. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.